A man can be arrested for stealing a can of beer, or reading someone else's joke about the president of Turkey, or maybe carrying a knife with a button on it that makes it slightly faster to open. Or maybe because it has a lock or a blade that's a fraction of an inch longer than someone made a law that it should be. Remember, states are the laboratories of democracy. Or countries or cities or... You know what I'm talking about. On the other hand, encouraging irresponsible mortgage lending to profit from risky investments in the short term is totally cool. As is insider trading exemption for members of Congress. You know, instead of jail, you get a bailout or a second condo. So what does any of this mean? Well, fuck if I know. So check out San Renmu's slip joint largish folder, the 9052MUC-PH-T4. But considering the blade is over three inches and has thumb studs, maybe you can't own it after all. Sorry. So let's look at the weight and the dimensions a bit closer so you can see if they fit within the confines of your confusingly written knife laws or fit within your pocket knife requirements. Like your favorite episode of Family Matters, the blade steel is also, quote, a very special type. I've seen it listed as 12C, 27 MOV with an HRC of 58, or 8 CR14 MOV, so pick your favorite. It's possible that there are different blade steels for slightly different models, but all the pictures look the same, so I guess I'm just trying to do some internet research for you. It's a drop point hollow grind. The knife is constructed with a stainless steel liner and it's covered by an FRN-ish type handle. Some websites and reviews claim G10, but mine looks and feels like FRN, and so do all the pictures on the internet I've found. The handle is lightly textured with a basket weave pattern, which should make the plain weave people get upset. In the back, you have a bottle opener for the drinkers and a seat belt or cord cutter, depending on the situation or the, again, internet product description. And on the butt of the knife, you have that glass breaking bump. The knife can only be carried in a tip-up configuration, but the pocket clip is reversible. Sorry, tip-up tactical deployment bros, but you're in for more disappointment with the next sentence. Even though it has a thumb stud, the knife isn't meant to be flicked open in a hurry. The thumb studs are short and don't stick out any further than the liner, so the harder the flick, the more likely you are to fillet your thumb meat. So in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is the type of knife you pull out of your pocket, open deliberately, and then proceed to shave some arm hair. You can open it slowly one-handed or two-handed. Okay, so what about the knife itself? It's pretty sharp out of the box and works best as a basic utility EDC knife. The knife has sort of a boxy handle that tries to make up for it with some jimping. I wouldn't call it a hard use knife. Maybe a hard luck knife because it's cheap it can open beer, but who drinks like bottle beer that needs to be opened with an opener if you're destitute? I don't know. Isn't it canned beer? but it still has a solid construction with no blade play. Blade retention, when closed, is good. Okay, let's beat it up a bit and see how it holds up. Remember, it's a slip joint, so, you know, whatever. A few subscribers wanted me to look into other brands, and since I've had pretty good luck with San Remo in the past, I decided to check out some stuff I didn't see a lot of good reviews on. Plus, some people said, hey man, review some San Renmus, which are sometimes known as SRM or just SR, and I basically just do what other people tell me to do. San Remu seems to make a lot more knives that are friendlier to countries or places with unfriendly knife laws. I've yet to own a bad San Renmu, although with just about four blades by them, my sample size isn't big enough to be called scientific. But is anything on YouTube? Although I think you only need two to be called a YouTube expert. I think. Maybe it's one. It's like, how you can do a video about the best everyday carry knife because you own one or two knives by three or four different manufacturers. Clickbait, man. Anyway, the knife is constructed fine. It holds up well to my extremely rigorous YouTube knife test where I cut random things and talk about them and declare how I'm really impressed with this blade when I didn't think I would be. If you like predictable knife reviews as much as I like making them, subscribe to my channel, like my video, and leave a comment below about how dumb your knife laws are because they were written by cognitively dissonant politicians. Thanks for watching.